Hello and welcome to Efficient Strategy Gaming. Today I'm going to tell you guys the best way to build Germany's focus tree for historical SP or MP games. So let's get into it here. Uh, as you guys know, if you've watched my videos, I typically like going for focus trees that give you political power first. And sure enough, if you're building Germany, uh, you can go Rhineland first, and that gives you 120 political power. And that's going to be incredibly important for your historical build because you can, at this point, go free trade, which gives you a 9% bonus to your research speed and a 10% bonus to your factory output. However, it, it limits the amount of resources that you get. But at the beginning of the game, you don't need uh, that many resources, so it's not a big deal. Depending on what mod you're playing with, you can also go War Economy first, if you so choose. Uh, and it is a bit of a toss-up whether you should go War Economy first, uh, if it is available or not. Because if you go War Economy, you're going to be able to churn out more sieves. But if you go free trade, you're going to be able to have that higher research speed and able to get a better economy earlier off of, you know, industry related uh, research there. So either one of those, you're going to be doing really good. Uh, but let's go on to our next focus tree here. Our next focus badge and that's going to be Army Innovations. And Army Innovations is going to give you a 2x 100% research bonus for Land Doctrine. And what you want to do is try to apply that Land Doctrine bonus on your second Land Doctrine research. So try in the first 140 days to get to where... So you usually can go Electronic Mechanical Engineering into delay for instance and that will get you to a spot uh, where you can apply that bonus on your second doctrine that you research and then going down the focus tree badge here for number three is going to be treaty with the ussr and that is going to give you the german soviet treaty and the ai will always accept that and if you're in mp games it's typically a rule that the Soviet Union has to accept it. And then from there, you can ramp into whatever flavor of tank you like to play with, typically a heavy tank. Uh, so that is going to buff your heavy tank research. The next focus tree is going to be four year plan. And ironically enough, you're going to go for this number four. And what four year plan is going to give you is buffs to your industrial research. So the play here is the first three focuses are just to delay you enough so that you can get into this 1939 level of research so that you can apply the two 100x bonuses you get to industry to this 1939 research here. So while you're going through your focuses, you want to make sure that you're focusing on researching basic machine tools, improved machine tools, and then either concentrated or dispersed industry, depending on what game style you have to play with. And you want to get up to level two so that you can then apply bonuses to the 1939 level here. And that's going to be incredibly important. Um, Next focus tree badge is going to be Autarky. That's going to give you bonuses to excavation. At this point, you're not really going to use that, but that's going to come in handy later. What you really wanted to get to was the civilian factories here with Hermann Goering work and KDF Wagen. And that's going to give you a total of 12 civilian factories. Quite good. And then we're rushing down to the extra research slot here. And remember, the Soviet Union only starts with three researches and Germany starts with four. That focus tree badge is going to give us five, which is going to be necessary to get all the industrial bonuses that we're going to need from our research, as well as creating, uh, keeping up with allied research. 
Um, so incredibly important to rush down to the extra research slot here. And then our next focus is going to be Reich's Autobahn. And Reich's Autobahn is a very interesting one. And it's going to synergize with the way that you build your civilian factories. And I'm going to show you that in a second. But mainly, I feel that Reich's Autobahn is necessary for Operation Barbarossa because it gives you level 10 infra infrastructure in Brandenburg. And as you know, all of your supply flows out of your capital. So it's incredibly important if you're doing a long range war to have level 10 infrastructure in your capital. And this focus tree badge will give you that as well as level 10 infrastructure in Brandenburg, Hanover, Thurgen, and Franken. And as you can see here, I'm avoiding building in those areas. So we save, uh, we don't build in those areas where we get right the level 10 infrastructure until later. And once we get the level 10 infrastructure, we start building in those areas immediately. And you can build refineries or military factories, however your particular play style is. As soon as you get Reich's Autobahn, um, these will all turn to level 10 and you need to start building in these provinces right here. Okay, so that is a must for Operation Barbarossa and also buffs your economy quite a bit. The next thing that I would go for is Anschluss. And of course, this is going to depend on, you know, kind of the focus tree path that Austria is taking. And it's also going to, you're going to have to tailor this to world tension overall. But if you get Anschluss at this point, you won't be doing too bad. And what you need to do after getting Anschluss is rush down to Feta Czechoslovakia. So basically you're annexing Austria and Czechoslovakia, which is going to give you a ton of factories. And it's also going to spike world tension, which is going to turn on the allied focus trees. So you need to watch out when you convert over to Anschluss. But if you get Anschluss at this point, it's not going to be that bad. It's going to be a pretty good time to get it. Um, what I would get next is sometime around getting Anschluss and going fate of Czechoslovakia, you want to start building refineries. I typically find that 16 refineries work well for me because I'm able to build around 70 fighter twos. And um, that gives me enough rubber for 70 fighter, 70 mils in fighter two production. And so the next thing that I like to do is go coal liquidization and synthetic rubber. And you really want this synthetic rubber, which is going to give you plus two rubber to each synthetic refinery. And that's going to allow you uh, that fighter production that you need. Uh, the next focus tree that I would consider getting is going to be Army Innovations 2. And this is going to buff your land doctor and research and also allow you to get 100% bonus on mech. So that's going to be incredibly important. And then after that, you're going to want to go down and align Romania and Hungary and integrate war economies. Um, if you don't want to puppet Romania and Hungary, you could go German war economy at this point. And that's going to give you mainly six military factories. You should have already changed your eco economic law to war economy by now. Uh, and a German war economy does give you that as well. But typically, you should go integrate war economies unless you have something um, interesting going on with your MP allies with Romania and Hungary, and you don't want to puppet them. Puppeting Romania and Hungary also gives you a boost to your economy because you're able to trade uh, better with them for resources. You give them one sieve and I believe they give you back like 13 resources. Uh, so you trade better with them and then they also give you quite a few uh, military factories. Let's see here. 
If Kingdom of Hungary is in a faction with Germany, add four military factories, each to German Reich and Hungary. Um, and then it's the same for Romania. So effectively, Germany gets eight military factories and your puppets get eight as well. So that is quite good. And then from there, it's going to depend on what type of mod you're playing with and what you need to do to get Danzig or War, which is going to kick off your war in the historical time frame of September 1939. And then, of course, uh, you'll probably go down here to war with France. And um, after you take out, you know, the Western Allies, you're going to have to wait till 1941, June 1941, to go into Operation Barbarossa. So depending on what you do, there's going to be a lot of different variations. But uh, as you're waiting to, to for war with the Allies, there's a lot of different things that you can do here. You can go Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact. Uh, you can get Naval Rearmament. Uh, you can go air innovations you can do a lot of different things depending on what mod you're playing but you want to time danziger war so that you get that by september 1939 and then after you rush down to war with france if you need that and around maginot and operation westerbung you just kind of get whatever you need depending on what playthrough you're doing if you do operation sea lion you want to do improved national spirit um and after you kind of get those goodies, I would suggest do resistance suppression until, you know, resistance is low enough to where you feel comfortable to go into Operation Barbarossa. And uh, then you could probably uh, just kind of pick and choose what you need after that. It's kind of going to be an open build after that. But I do suggest going for, so let's just review it real quick. Number one, Rhineland. Two, uh, is going to be Army Innovations. <laughs> I almost said Anschluss because I'm so used to doing my speed run. Uh, three, Treaty with the USSR. Four, Four Year Plan. Five, Autarky. Six, Hermann Goering Work. Seven, KDF at Wagen. Eight, Extra Research Slot. Nine, Reich's Autobahn. And then we're going to transition into 10, Anschluss. 11, Demand Sedateland. 12, First Vienna War Award. 13, Fate of Czechoslovakia and Annex All of Czechoslovakia. 14, Coal Liquidization. 15, Synthetic Rubber. And then we're going to head over to um, Army Innovations. 16, 17, Gobran Wirtschaft. 18, Align Hungary. 19, Align Romania. 20, Integrate War Economies. And then from there, depending on what you need to do, you just want to get Danzig or War by September 1939. And then depending on what you need there, you probably need around Maginot and Operation Westerbung. After you take out, you know, the Western Allies or France or and Poland, you want to get resistance suppression until Barbarossa. And then you can dance around and do whatever you need, depending on what where you go from there. So that's going to be all. That is going to be my best historical focus tree build that that I could share with you guys today. And I do feel that it works well in MP games and historical SP games. Um, and it will vary wildly depending on what his, you know, historical MP mod you are playing. Um, but that's it for today's build. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe. We have a lot of different ways to support the channel. I stream on Twitch and YouTube. Check me out there. Uh, I also have a Patreon and we have channel membership on YouTube. Uh, and yeah, please uh, consider supporting the channel. I'll see you on the next one, guys.